Today's morning devotional. Exerting a right influence. A saving influence over associates and unbelievers. Yet yeah, we're and samples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. For from you sounded out the word of the Lord not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith to God ward is spread abroad, so that we need not to speak anything. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verses 7 and 8 If you can exert a saving influence over one soul, remember there is joy in heaven over the one that repented. You may, by judicious effort, be the means of bringing back the lost sheep to Jesus' fold. Although you may be young, you must work with Christ, with his spirit in your heart you can do much more than it now seems possible for you to do. If your example is Christ-like, that alone, if you do not say a word, will be a help to many. Patient continuance in well-doing will help others to place their feet in the path of truth and righteousness. Be careful to start right, and then keep quietly on. The firm purposes you may possess in carrying out good principles will have an influence to balance souls in the right direction. There is no limit to the good you may do. If you make the word of God the rule of your life, and govern your actions by its precepts, making all your purposes and exertions in the fulfilling of your duty a blessing, success will crown your efforts. The youth who are consecrated to God sway a mighty influence for good. Preachers or laymen advanced in years cannot have one half the influence for good upon the young that the youth, if devoted to God, can have upon their associates. The silent witness of a true, unselfish, godly life carries an almost irresistible influence. The unstudied, unconscious influence of a holy life is the most convincing sermon that can be given in favor of Christianity.